What's up guys, this episode we're gonna be testing action mailers and we are going to be setting up several different kinds of tests to make sure that our emails are being sent and have the correct content. So let's dive in to actually developing our emails. In development, we actually need to send test emails so that we can see the formatting and make sure that that is all correct. And it's really handy to actually use the Rails test mailer previews. So when you create your mailers, you'll have app mailers, person mailer, as we have here in our net promoter score example. I've added an email here that just sends a net promoter score email to a person and their email address is where we send it to. And we've defined a person mailer, nps.html.erb, and it just includes links to fill out the net promoter score. And that's very simple and all it really does. But to test this out in our browser, we'd probably have to send an email to ourselves. We'd have to set up an email provider in development and actually send that out to our real email address. And that can get a little bit annoying so what we want to do instead is actually go to the test folder, open up the mailers folder and create a previews folder if it doesn't exist already and a person mailer underscore preview dot RB. So we want it to be the same name as our mailer with the underscore preview at the end of the file name. So we can open up this and create a person mailer preview class and we'll inherit from the action mailer uh, colon colon preview. And in here, we'll define the same method names as we have for our actual methods in our person mailer. We don't need any of the arguments because we're actually going to define those in here and call the person mailer directly.